Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Jones City Points. Today, I'll be talking about the new ground war map in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. If you guys are not aware yet, it is called Port of Verdansk. I'm not sure if I said that name right, but you guys get the point. Anyways, uh, this map is quite different from the others. It is very different because in this map, you have to mostly worry about ground troops compared to tanks. Because if you look at the other maps like Provnik Farmland, you have to worry about snipers and tanks. If you look at District, you have to worry mostly about tanks and snipers on top of the goddamn roofs. And then the other map, pretty much there's campers everywhere and pretty much it's very difficult to access from one building to the other. But uh, you guys get the point. And then this map, which is called Port of Verdansk, I'm just going to call it the port at this point because that name is just so difficult to say. The port, it requires mostly long range and medium range skill combat because god damn it bro. You don't have to worry about tanks most of the time. The tanks will be running out the middle like a few times going from point uh, from flag B to flag E. And that's about it. And also a little bit a little bit of the time it will be like on the cargo side, but that's about it. And it won't bother you when you're in the vacant side or in the D flag. So you're gonna be mostly gunfighting most of the time. Which is great. I like this kind of style. Like for a long time I've been asking like what if there's a, a map where you don't have to worry about tanks? This is the one. So if you want to level up your guns, you want to level up anything, your sights or whatever, you know, play this map. It is good for gunfighting. I enjoy it a lot. So if I were to like grade it right now, I'll probably give it like an 8 out of 10. It's a good map and all. It's a good map to spend your time in, good map to like actually get some kills with your weapons that you're trying to level up. Like you find a lot of bodies along the way, like just running like idiots across the map. Because there's a lot of ways you can flank your enemies too. There's cargo everywhere, there's buildings everywhere, windows everywhere. So you're going to be able to flank the enemy like nothing, like most of the time, like easy kills all, all the freaking time. Just don't don't be that one idiot running down the middle of the street expecting not to get shot. So I'm telling you, plan your routes. There's a lot of buildings to use, a lot of windows. Plan your routes, bro. And you'll get from point A to point B without getting shot. And I've done it so many times already. So just look at the background gameplay. I mean, I'm just, I'm about to rack up 20 kills back to back. So um, I've been, I've already been getting a lot of kills lately. And I think I'm, I might be close to a nuke. So, um... I might get a nuke before the month of January. I'm hoping I do because this has been a little bit more frequently where I get 20 kills in a row without dying. So, um, yeah, it might happen pretty soon. So l let's talk about a little bit of, about creativity about this map. Yes, there's towers a little bit here and there, but you can easily shoot down those snipers. There's this one bridge down the middle of the map, which is very creative. And without that freaking bridge, you should be able to see it a few times in the gameplay right now. But without that bridge, the map would have been way too flat and way too open down the middle it would have been like easy spawn trap where the, within the e flag and the, and the d flag and the c flag with the b flag i mean people would have just been traveling like that with the middle wide open so it would have been a sniper's paradise so with this one bridge down the middle it just changed everything everything in the whole freaking map like i, I can just vision it like without this freaking bridge it would just be a stalemate so I'm glad they added the bridge. You can go up there with a freaking bike. You won't find anybody up there most of the time, which I'm surprised about because people like, love heights. You know, people want to snipe from up there. So um, I'm surprised I don't find anybody up there. So it just makes me it makes it easier for me to like navigate the map without getting shot at. So it's just a lot of ways you can navigate the map. I'm just telling you right now because this map is just way better than the other ones. Way better. So just look at this. That's just caught these two guys off guard pretty much fun huh so um so yeah i did call in all my kill streaks already and you know i recommend to use any kill streak you want in this one because you can get any kills like like crazy amount of kills so far my highest has been 51 kills in this map so i think i could do better i could have done better but it had like two long range weapons because in this class setup that i have right now in the background is with the kilo and with the mp7 I suggest not to carry an SMG at all, or just carry a backup weapon that allows you to like aim fast. So, uh, the reason why I'm using the Kilo is because it's very accurate for me. It's been very accurate for the past two weeks. So, um, I've been playing, you know, I've been testing it, and I'm telling you this weapon is not that bad. So, the best class setup might come out pretty soon for the Kilo, so you guys can test it out yourselves and pretty much see that how accurate this weapon it is for medium range combat. Because it was just with this weapon itself, I'm a, I'm, I've been getting better in medium range combat. It's very accurate as hell. So, um, anyways. Tell me your thoughts about this map. Is it good for you? Have you been doing good? You know, what guys, what do you guys expect from this map to give you in the future or whatever? You know, what are your plans to navigate through the whole map? 
and oh by the way i think i did forget to talk about the vacant part of the map if you guys are not aware yet there is a throwback map within this map i'm hoping they do more of this in the future because god damn bro an easter egg in this map with a vacant map like it's not that bad i'm hoping they do more of this so that is it guys i wanted to talk about today uh port uh the whatever the port map is actually good so i'll see you guys later and subscribe for more